For a century, Nokia Bell Labs has been the birthplace for world-changing innovation. As we celebrate 100 years, we are looking forward to the next frontier of discovery. I have with me Thierry Klein and Peter Vetter. Uh, I'm going to put my first question to you, Peter. Can you tell us more about the Nokia Bell Lab Centennial? Well, we're excited to celebrate 100 years of game-changing innovations with a real impact on humanity. As you can see on my hoodie, 100 years. But we're also celebrating what we are inventing today that will have an impact on the next 100 years. Thank you. And I'm going to ask you a similar question, a bit different though, Thierry. Can you tell us more about what we are showcasing here at Mobile World Congress? Yeah, absolutely. On, on the booth, we have this amazing immersive experience that we created. And it has really two parts. Uh, one is a film, short film about the history of Bell Labs, the groundbreaking innovations of the last hundred years. And then we've selected nine technology areas and we have short films on each one of those that showcase the current research and the future research in those nine areas like quantum, sensing, uh, space, optical communication, so forth. Really exciting experience. Good. And speaking of groundbreaking innovations, so we've got a hundred years, Tell me about some of your favorite innovations. Well, we're at Mobile World Congress. So I take out this mobile phone. There's billions of transistors in here invented at Bell Labs. The CCD camera invented at Bell Labs. Unix, the operating system, the basis of the Unix operating system here on the cell phone, invented at Bell Labs. Neural networks invented at Bell Labs. Cellular networks invented at Bell Labs. A real impact on humanity. We cannot think the world without this. Yep. Many things invented, and I'll put that same question to you, Thierry. Well, I think Peter uh, hit on really the top highlights, but I'd say the favorite one is the phone, the, the original telephone, because it allowed us to talk to each other when we're not physically in the same spot. That's got to be the first and the, the most impactful innovation. Then I would say the uh, invention of information theory, which really ushered in the digital information age, allowing us to understand how much information we can send from one point to another. I also absolutely love the Telstar satellite, which allowed us to communicate across the Atlantic. So similar to the phone, it allowed us to connect people that are in completely different continents. And then finally, an amazing discovery was the experimental proof of the Big Bang. It's, it typifies what Bell Labs researchers are about. We're working on a hard problem, but we keep our eyes and ears open on what else might be there. And this is how these two amazing researchers discovered the experimental proof of the Big Bang. Wow, beautiful. Um, so I'm going to shift gears a little bit. Um, Nokia Bell Labs is Nokia's global research uh, lab. And so it's setting the stage for the next era of innovation. Tell me, what are the, the key areas, the key technological areas that Nokia Bell Labs continues to, to innovate and, and bring forth? Well, one of them is obviously quantum. I mean, quantum physics has enabled inventions like the transistor and the solar cells, but we're now entering a new era where we can manipulate individual particles and that we can use for quantum computing, quantum networking and even quantum security. Another area that I want to highlight are really the foundational technologies for networks. Uh, think 6G. Since more than five years we're already working on 6G, preparing for the next decade of mobile networks. And then also optical networks, beating our own world records in transmission speeds to interconnect these data centers where traffic is predicted to go up in the next decade by a factor of 100 and do that in an energy efficient way so that the cost and the power consumption doesn't go up by a factor of 100 but stays flat. I'll ask the same question to you, Thierry. Yeah, I'll mention two areas. One is AI. And AI really has three parts. One is the foundational technologies of AI, the language models, the mathematics, the algorithms. So just what are the basic capabilities of AI? And then we apply them to two domains. One is AI for networking in all aspects of networking technologies throughout the life cycle of networks. So AI for networking and then AI for industrial applications. How do we bring AI into industrial systems, robotics and so forth? And we do all of that on a responsible AI platform. And then the second area I would say is sensing capabilities, which uh, touches on AI as well. But sensing is all about capturing physical environments, just like this amazing environment. But any physical environment, we want to sense it, whether it's with network capabilities or other modalities. Sense, capture the physical environment, use AI to get insights about the physical uh, environment, and turn that into a dynamic digital twin that we can then uh, learn from, gain insights, and optimize the physical world. 
Wow, that is fascinating. Um, I want to ask you one more question, Thierry. Uh, for one, congratulations on the successful launch of the IM2 mission um, and building a network on the moon. Uh, can you share some details with us about the mission itself? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, we are in lunar orbit as we speak. Uh, we are deploying the first cellular network. We're working in partnership with uh, NASA and uh, two space companies, Intuitive Machines and Luna Outpost. We build an entire 4G network in a box, very small pizza box that's on the lunar lander right now. And we have two user equipments that are in a rover and a hopper that will explore the lunar surface. So absolutely amazing that we take technology from the labs and now we're quarter million miles away and getting ready for landing on the moon in uh, just less than 48 hours. That is spectacular. Thank you both for your insights. Um, after 100 years of pioneering progress, it's obvious that there is still more to come. If you are interested in learning more, please visit us at Nokia.com.